Hi, my name is Andre Velcescu and I'm an application engineer in Xperia's automotive power MOSFETs team in Manchester. In the automotive sector, solenoids are used for a wide range of applications, from fuel injectors for the engine to shifting the transmission. There are four ways to driving solenoids. Freewheeling, active clamp, boost, and repetitive avalanche. In this demo, we will be showcasing the four topologies, how they differ, and Nexperia's offerings for each of them. Due to the sheer amount of solenoids used in a car, it is vital to provide a low-cost solenoid drive topology. Often, this comes at the trade-off between low cost, high speed and efficiency, as well as best reliability. Each topology having its strengths and weaknesses. Now let's have a look at what this demo is showing. What we can see here is a platform capable of driving a DC to DC converter and four fuel injectors. They come in four different topologies, freewheeling, active clamp, boost, and avalanche. Now, let's have a look at Nexperia special offerings for each. In the DC to DC converter, we are offering an 100 volt LFPAC 56 device. And for protection, we are offering P-channel devices. Moving on to the solenoid drive topologies, in the freewheeling case, we are offering a LFPAC 56 dual device for 60 volts. For the active clamp, we are offering a 60 volt device in the LFPAC 56 dual form. Moving on to the boost topology that we may see here, we are offering 100 volts MOSFET, this one and this one, in the LFPAC 56 dual form. The avalanche topology that we may see here is using 60 volt avalanche rated MOSFETs in the LFPAC 56 dual form. We may see this here. Now let's have a look at the waveforms. What we may see here is the waveform of a fuel injector. This is made of a few phases. The boost phase, peak, bypass, hold, and end of injection phase. Now this waveform in red is coming from the avalanche topology. Let's have a look at how the other topologies look. The first that we may see in green is the freewheeling topology. Having a look at the boost phase, it is much the same as in the avalanche topology. The same can be said for the rest of the phases. Moving on to the active clamp topology, in this case, the boost phase has a lower spike, but the peak, bypass, hold, and end of injection are very similar. Now let's have a look at the boost topology. In this case, we can see a faster rise in the boost phase with a higher spike. But after that, the peak, bypass, hold, and end of injection look quite similar. As we saw, the avalanche topology has a similar behavior to the rest whilst using a lower component count. Moreover, we're offering higher levels of robustness that can be designed for. Each topology shown in the demo uses power MOSFETs from our automotive grade LFPAC 5x6 portfolio in either single or dual MOSFET versions. The Avalanche topology features new products from our specialized application specific MOSFET portfolio known as ASFET. These tailor made devices are optimized for use in particular design scenarios. By focusing on specific parameters critical to an application, they provide the new level of performance to best match the system requirement. The demo also uses a product from our LFPAC 56 P-channel family, working as the reverse battery protection MOSFET. Nexpira provides ease of choice with multiple package and silicon technologies available to support the chosen topology. Our ASFETs for repetitive avalanche topologies are designed with guaranteed repetitive avalanche performance, tested up to 1 billion cycles, and enhanced data sheets to support the designs. 
LF-Pak automotive MOSFETs have industry-leading performance exceeding ACQ 101 qualifications up to two times. The unique copper clip construction provides excellent robustness and reliability for the most demanding applications as well as space-saving benefits when comparing them to more traditional alternatives. Thank you for watching. For more information, please go to nexperia.com.